Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Ken H364. We got some new vaping stuff to talk about today. Yeah, you know, yeah, I've got some of my other vaping uh, videos up there. Uh, this is something new and improved. This is the Smoke Pyrex RSST Dual Coil. Look at that. Look at that puppy right there. And that's a dual coil atomizer. It's brand new on the market. Haven't seen them anywhere else except for one place and one place only. And when I saw it, I said, I got to have it. And that's who I got it from, Got Vapes. I'll throw links down in the description for you so you can see everything that's going on. But let's delve down into this puppy. We're going to cover two items today. We're going to cover that. And we're also going to build this cotton picker. And we're going to build it using Japanese cotton. Now, anybody that knows about Japanese cotton, if you go to your... Um, it it comes in sheets, which I guess you can see there. It comes in sheets. You get 60 of them to a bag, and 60 of them um, was about $17, shipping included from Amazon.com. I'll throw the link down below in the description, so you'll have that. The nice thing about this, they're four-ply. You should be able to get four wicks per ply. That's 16 wicks per sheet or about 960 wicks out of this one bag. And this is a whole lot better than hanging on to that, um, the cotton and the cotton balls and trying to store it and pulling it apart and all the rest of it. And when we rebuild, or when we do the build on the um, RSST dual coil, we're going to be using the cotton, so don't run off. But let's take a look at this RSST dual coil. comes in a nice little box, nice little box, and... Uh, there's the unit, and that's pretty cotton pick and slick. And we're going to go into what's on, what's in this unit. Um, you pull that open, and you take out the little plug in the bottom, and there's your extra parts. They give you some extra O-rings, give you some extra fill plugs, uh, spring washers, whatever in the heck you need there. So anyhow, let's um, let's take a close up look at this uh well let's take a look at it if you notice there's a knurled ring in the center it doesn't quite look this is the old rsst single coil and there's a, a marked difference because you see this ring right here that ring controls your airflow and it's a dual airflow and the ring you turn it to open it up or close down the airflow it's snug and one of the reasons I like it being snug is because it's not going to change my setting. I'm opening it up pretty darn far right now. <clears throat> to give you an idea how much airflow you can get out of this thing. And seeing as I have not tried this yet, um, the airflow is massive. Uh, this isn't even all the way open. But take a look at that airflow on it. And it's on both sides. I think we might have a winner here. I'm not going to say we have a winner yet because I haven't vaped on it, but we may just have a winner here. And it comes apart just like that. I mean, you, you want to close it off a little bit. You can, can, can turn it in the other direction, and you can close it down. It's not a big deal. It takes you a little bit because, like I say, it is snug, but then again, this is brand new. We haven't had it. Uh, we just got it today. So... Um, it's going to take a little bit to um, to wear in. But anyhow, and there you can see, you can close the airflow down quite a bit to wherever you want it. It comes apart just like the other one did. It's uh, nice and snug. There you go. And there's your build deck. And like I was saying, it's a dual coil setup. So one coil here. Well, let's turn it this way. Your, your wick and coil, one coil over here, one coil on the other side. Uh, let's go over to here. There's your two screws. There's your center post. And this little white plastic thing, that's a plug for your fill hole so it doesn't leak out. It's uh, What I like with these and what makes them an easy build is you see the spring right here. This spring goes to a washer. So when you're doing your coil... You just take and pull it under underneath that, or on top of that washer, underneath this screw, and you're locked in. You don't have to do anything else. It is adjustable for your uh, 
510 connection so you can turn that screw and it pulls this little center plug pushes it out or pull it back in if you don't have adjustable but um, it's pretty nice pyrex glass you um, cannot take this pyrex glass off unless you unscrew the bottom with this screw and that'll that'll make life interesting for you it has for me in the past with my single coil RSST so anyhow like I say I have been waiting for something like this because the RSST is an easy build it is such an easy build and I enjoy my RSST to no end you get done building it fill it with juice just put the little cap on and like I say this being brand new it's a little bit snug that's the drip tip that comes with it so now what more can I tell you why don't we do this why don't we take and let's delve down into this and let's build this puppy and see how she vapes so we'll switch cameras and be right back okay then I pre-built the coils because I didn't think you really needed to see if you've seen coils built before why waste your time with it I'm using eight wraps 28 gauge Cantal and I've already installed the first coil uh, I wrapped them around a one eighth pin so let's, uh, let's get started here with the second one and you just take it it's very simple to do set it up to where you want it and what I normally do is I grab it with a pair of tweezers Get it in between there. Kind of a pain when you got big bulky fingers, but that's what I got. I got to deal with them. Just drive it over, put it over the center pin. If you can see this, and you just give it a pull. Just take it and pull it underneath. Sometimes you got to fight a little bit with it. Uh, for the most part, it'll work quite easy. It'll, after a while, it worked. There it goes. Snapped right in. Did you hear it? A little click. So that's in there. Now I take this and I wrap it around the post. Bend that coil back up and slide her down a little bit. Take that, bend it around the post. Take the screwdriver and screw it. Just take and tighten it up. And now I can take this and just play the wiggle game. First you screw it and then you wiggle it. There it is. All broke off. Now you can take these out of the way. There's one. There's two. And we take our clippers. Make sure that this is all in there nice and secure, and it is. And we go in there, and we go one, two, and there's our build right there. Let's uh, let's take a look at it and see what we got. Let's see what kind of ohms we got on this. Let's all sit here and go ohm. Oh, look at that, 0.94. So that'll work on any of the uh, variable voltage, variable wattage uh, devices that I have. Well, it won't work on my MVP too, but it'll work on my Seagali quite well at 9.4. 
So we have a 9.4 build. Normally with the um, um, the single coil RSST, I couldn't get it below 2. I probably could have if I'd have played around with it. But um, I decided not to. So here's the interesting part. I took some of this cotton. I took one piece of cotton. Now look at look at the way. I don't know if you can see that. See how the fibers run up and down. They're running from top to bottom. You don't want to do it this way. You want to do it this way because it'll wick better. And what I do is here's a little seam that they have on there. And I take my pair of scissors and I cut that seam off. The other thing that I found, because I already made one of the wicks, uh, you really don't need a whole lot. I mean, this is a one eighth. That's about all you need. That out of a sheet that big. So you can get four per, because here's half of this sheet left. So I can get four out of one layer, and there's four layers. That's 16 wicks. Now all you do is just take it and roll it, just like you would do if you're doing a joint or some stainless steel or whatever you're doing there. And then just keep on rolling it. And it works very well. Yeah, you're saying, oh, he's twisting it. Well, guess what? It'll work. Then what you do is see if you can get it through the coil. If you can't, you can moisten it and make it a little smaller. And everybody says, well, why would you moisten it? You're going to moisten the wick. And guess what? As soon as you pour the juice in there, the wick gets moistened. Now it goes right through. And with the, as you would do with the normal RSST, take a paper clip and just feed it through there. And if it's too tight, take it out. And this is the nice thing about working with this. Because I did this with the other one when I was putzing around with it. You take and you open it up a little bit. And you take your scissors and you adjust the size by cutting off another sliver. Now, Robert Ellis, the Angry Vapor or whatever it is on YouTube, he, uh, he's the one that introduced me to this. And uh, he did a little wicking demonstration. And this stuff's supposed to wick very well. And actually, it wicks better than regular organic cotton. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. Take, we push it through. Look at that. Then we just take our paper clip and we feed it through. And there it goes. You don't want to push too much. Sometimes you get like me, you get a little rambunctious and And if you have that problem again, cut a little more off. The nice thing with this compared to regular cotton that I'm finding, and this is the first time I've done this, so hang in there. But the nice thing that I found with this is you don't have cotton flying all over the place because it holds together very nicely. Now let's see what we got here.
I've been looking forward to doing this. And let's get our little piece of cotton here. Geez, nothing like having three thumbs, is it? There we go. There it is, and look at it, look at a wicking. Look at a wick down in there. Got a ton of wick down in there. And now I'll do the same thing to the other side. Hopefully we won't take as long to do this. Gonna make this wick a little bit thinner. This is the one I was putzing with earlier. But that's like I say, that's a nice thing with this stuff. It it seems to work. It's very friendly. When it comes to working with this cotton. Okay. Roll it a little bit. And now we do the same thing. Sometimes you got to go underneath the coil if you got it raised up to pull the stuff through. But there you have it. Look at that. Hmm? Now we can trim the top of that off a little bit if we want. Get right up here. And we get up there. And now we get to push it back down again. There we go. We'll just push it back down. But there's the build for you. And we said it was um, 0.94. So we'll... Uh, Let's check it on the Sigali and see how that goes. You notice I didn't reburn the coils or nothing. I've done that before. It's worked. It hasn't worked. Uh, you know, I really don't have that much of a problem with my coils, so I don't. Uh, I don't normally rebuild them or, or reburn them once I've got them burned and all set. They tend to work their way in. Let's see what it says on the Sigali. Look at that. Huh? Point 0.9. Point 0.9 ohms. Exactly what I had built. Exactly what it says it was on the um, on the meter. So let's juice her up and see how she uh, how she flies here. Like I said, this is the first time I've used this stuff, so bear with me. I know this video is starting to get a little bit long, but bear with me. We're just about uh, we're just about there. A little bit of homemade juice. We some of that. Uh, how would you call it? Moonshine. Moonshine over Nevada, or in the Tennessee mountains, whatever. Oh yeah, this stuff wakes real nice. And that's not saturated yet. So then what I do is I take this, I pull the little plug out. I always use my tweezers to pull the plugs out. They seem to last longer that way, and we'll juice her up. Let's fill her up. Oh, 
What I'm doing is some homemade amaretta cherry. Okay, the tank is full. Put the plug back in there. I always grab the plug at the bottom of the uh, thing when I'm putting it back in. And I give it a little push. And this is juiced. This is only 12 watts. That seems to be working okay. Let's uh, crank her. Oh, she's the battery's almost dead. No wonder it's not working that well. Let's, uh, let's put in a new battery. Put in a freshly charged battery and see what she does. Like I said, I know this video is getting a little long. We're almost done, so don't run away. I'll put some fresh juice. Put some fresh juice in the Addy. We might as well put some fresh juice in the mod, and uh, now everything is going to be juiced. That battery was virtually dead. All right. And we'll take it to where I like it. It's about 15 watts. That's where I run most of my stuff, is right around 15 watts. 15 and a half, that'll work. Look at that. Is that nice? Let's uh, put everything back together. I'll meet you up topside, and we'll take a vape. Okay, we're back up topside. I got it all put back together. I got the vent hole about only halfway, not even halfway open. And uh, you uh, lung hitters will love this. I mean, what? <laughs> it's unbelievable how open that is. It is really unbelievable how open that is. Let's uh, let's open her up a little bit more. Like I said, you lung hitters will love this. All you really got to do is get the uh, you know get the build where you want it. If you want those low uh, you know sub ohm builds, you could probably do it on there. All right, now look at look at how wide open that is. Let's try this. Is that something? Is that something? And if we, um, let's screw it down a little bit. And you people that do mouth to lung and you like it a little tighter draw, take her down a little bit more. All right, now we're down. So this seems to have something for everybody. This really does seem to have something for everybody. It's an easy build, as I showed you. Fills real nice. Quality of the uh, of the machining on this is, I mean, just top notch. Just top notch. The drip tip fits nice and snug. It's not loose and flopping around like a flounder on the ground. It fits nice and snug. And like I said too, because of the fact that this is brand new. You know, it's got the little I smoke logo on there, or you know, smoke logo, S M O K. Um, the machining is top notch. The quality of the of the build, uh, the the build is easy. But the, the main thing is just just the overall quality in the machining. There there are no chatter marks or rough edges or sharp edges. It's I can't say enough about this. I am super pleased with this. 
and we'll see uh, how long it goes and uh, what else we got there. But uh, I'm going to open it up just a little bit more. The cap is a little tight to get on and get off, but that's because of the fact that, um, you know, you the O-rings are brand new. But, I mean, they did a hell of a job with this. They did what should be done, and it's at a pretty reasonable price. Let's go one more time. Hey, nice vape, good flavor, not overly hot. Uh, matter of fact, it's it's not even a hot, it's a nice cool build at uh, 0.94. So we're under one ohm with this, fits nice on the Sigali. Uh, I mean, I, just, just look at how nice it fits on there. Looks like it belongs. I'm running it at 15 and a half watts, and it just, I can't say enough about it. So, hey, this is Ken, three, Ken H364 here on YouTube and uh, also sometimes over on LiveLeak. I don't know if I'll post it up there. And I'm I'm glad you could watch. I hope you get something out of this. Uh, give it a thought. If you want, if you want something nice, easy to build, um, and the cotton. You saw how easy it was to trim the cotton, everything else. I don't have cotton pieces flying all over the place. I mean... This, this is my box that I keep my stuff in. You can see all the lumps of cotton in there. Now all I have to do is take this one little piece and just drop it in there. Now I got my cotton right there. Instead of having it flying all over the place, getting hooked on stuff, you get little schnitzels. Yeah, you German guys know what I'm talking about when I say schnitzels. Um, the cotton is, is easy. It's a nice, clean vape with this cotton. I would say it's just as good, if not better, than organic. Better than organic due to the fact that it's easier to work with. It is a lot. You don't have to boil it. It comes. It's clean. And I'll put a link below for that. So once again, this is Ken H364 over here on YouTube. Hey, I want everybody to have a good day. Don't forget that I do a program every Sunday night on the informationnation.com. And... Um, you can catch me there. Sometimes it's about vaping. Sometimes it's about politics. Sometimes it's just about the stupid stuff that goes on in the world. So uh, give us a listen. Or you can also, if you go to your TuneIn app and uh, search for The Information Nation, will come up. And uh, you can follow us, and then you can catch it because the show runs um, in a cycle all week long. And there's some other stuff on there. David Zublick and America Talks. And uh, we've got Charlie in the Box coming, uh, hopefully next week. So, hey, give it a listen. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you the next time. Hey, do something nice for yourself. Get off those, those cigarettes. Start vaping. It's better for you. Keep on vaping, people. Bye-bye.